thanks for everyone coming out and supporting us on Record Store Day. It means the world to us, and we're not quite recovered, but we do have some great new vinyl, including Island Vibes, Arthur Lyman, uh, one of the triumvirate of the Exotica movement, and Meditative Tropical Soundscapes. Indeed, it's not your typical Exotica record. It was actually uh, Lyman's last record recorded in Hawaii in 1980. Uh, he passed away in 2002, so he had almost a quarter century of uh, soundless retirement there. But uh, just like these Ellis Applebaum paintings, there's something of almost the new age, uh, turn of the 80s feel to this. It's very plaintive. Uh, the sound of the surf throughout in the background, almost like a very goodbye record. But it's it's good for listening. And Don Ho live at the Polynesian Palace from 71, sealed for over half a century. And Eddie Suzuki, New Hawaii, that's the name of the group. It's Ed Suzuki Jr. We're huge fans. There's a private press lounge record called High Tide, impossible to find. Uh, new, but the cool cats at Aloha Got Soul uh, put out this in limited edition orange vinyl and it is a massively cool record Hammond Oregon into the stage sunset rod iron tooth top lounge massive groovy over the seashell Pacific into the golden gloam indeed and besides the Hammond there's also an ARP synthesizer on here and uh, all the tracks are great it's just good to listen to and so is this Paisage we had this before it's Piero Emiliani's uh, work uh, basically library music uh, easy tempo uh, Bossa Nova lounge this is the 1980 cover variant uh, we've had it and uh, all these tracks are just beautiful uh, atmospheric indeed exotic uh, and you love all the descriptions dolce it is definitely sweet with some bossa nova in there and uh, here's the 1971 cover variant a little bit more collectible but uh, it's the same music by swan Anomie mark IV. Uh, that's the four musicians who uh, recorded for uh, umiliati who is actually credited as m zala on here but uh, really beautiful uh, library music ambient stuff definitely if you're a fan of the soft tempo lounge channel on youtube this is that kind of music and it's great stuff and we got a lot of city pop including tomoko aran uh, this is shikisai kantakaku uh, which translates roughly to sense of color and the whole album is centered around colors uh, even the two sides and you can see the lush uh, bright oversaturated cover colors of these photos almost like a uh, fuji provia print taken on a Nikon and uh, step down a step but it's beautiful stuff excellent record and so is this Hiroshi 2 Hiroshi volume 1 and uh, uh, Hiroshi actually painted that 1988 painting there uh, this was it's hard to come by but it's just been reissued it's on blue vinyl it's a 12 inch uh, down tempo reggae city pop so this is pretty good stuff too uh, Yuki Nakamiyamati, uh, she's got a lot of disco in her heart, and of course, because it was on Casablanca Records originally in 83, kind of synthy, uh, really good, you can dance to a lot of this stuff, but still in the city pop vein. Um, also, Sara Nanaku, uh, also known as Nanaku, uh, this is Funny Walkin', uh, she's really interesting, she was a college kid, I believe she was 20 years old when uh, she sent uh, some music in to a college girl song contest, and she won, and it started this beautiful career it's kind of jazzy kind of sophisticated and some of the uh, lyrics are actually in english as well so but uh you listen to that first one subterranean couple and you'll know that this is classic city pop and uh, here's some classic americana donnie and joe emerson uh, when they write the history of american music uh, this is definitely going to be in there for sure it's a strange story a forgotten record only recently discovered uh they lived in fruitland washington it kind of tells a story here that's like five hours away from seattle it's a middle of nowhere they were farmers and uh, they got a tractor trailer a tractor that had an amfm radio and cassette they'd never heard of pop music but they started uh, getting interested in it playing uh instruments um their parents put a home recording studio into their house and they recorded uh, this stuff and it's wild it's drizzly train ride ballads of the highest order just unintentionally psychedelic uh, there's spotlights on D diy american bedroom pop of the rural 70s and it's so good that you listen to this and you know you gotta coin a new greek word for it epochaclisti uh basically uh they take that era that lost epoch and they just summon it and you listen to this i mean they even had matching suits and to think that these kids were like 17 years old literally writing these very sophisticated uh pop songs and then playing them and then recording them and the recording is so ethereal and mysterious it's excellent and hitomi tayama imagination this is classic city pop of 88 and it has that high school mixer dance sound uh, she's just terrific so we're really happy to get that reissue and wamono groove 
groove. This is some rare groove Japanese jazz, jazz funk from 76. This is an excellent comp, and these guys, uh, they're active DJs in Japan right now. Uh, DJ Dynamite and Chinton, okay, blow up. Uh, this is uh, stuff from ranging from 68 to 80, and it's all good. You put your needle down anywhere here, and you're going to get the groove. Uh, also, Hikaru Utada, and she also goes by Utada. The band, uh, this is a beautiful one that just came out in this deluxe massive edition. It's Japanese J-pop, dance pop, acid house, whatever you want to call it. It's a big, heavy 2L P. Uh, there it is. There's the name of it. Bad Mode is what it says. And uh, all the artwork, if you look it up, it's all in here. But we just thought we got to keep it in these special wraps because it's just extra cool. Uh, and Taiko Inuki, uh, she was uh, interesting. She was in Sugar Babe back in the early to mid-70s. And then she broke out. This was uh, her first uh, solo record. It basically City Pop from 76. Gray Skies. Very sophisticated, very jazzy and longful. And uh, it's just got all the modes and moods in it. And then her next record there is Sun Shower. She just loads up the jazz, and when that's reissued, of course, we're going to have that too. But this is definitely an important record to have, and so is this um, Japanese jazz uh, something. This is actually an important record. Uh, the first uh, album to record it on uh, PCM Digital uh, Audio when it back when it came out, and there's like some really long jazz funk tracks and free jazz tr tracks. Uh, excellent, excellent stuff. Um, and uh, in Japan, this is pretty much a revered. Uh, uh, jazz record, of course. Uh, classic legendary session. And Pacific Breeze 3, we've got the Twilight Sunset Pink Wax here. 2LP, nice and heavy. And uh, number two, this one, the second comp that ranges from 72 to 86 there. This is on Yellow Splatter Wax, and uh, we got an early copy of this. This is technically, I guess, coming out this summer, but we're going to have it here for you. And uh, another one that we're really excited about and we're super huge fans of is uh, Nagisa Yoko. This is, uh, she's doing this work with uh, Justin Simon, who uh, has a label out in Brooklyn. But uh, she was uh, an amazing, she was really the queen of Tokyo's underground psychedelic Kayukiyoku lounge scene. Uh, uh, passed away sadly, unexpectedly in 2018. But uh, this is really beautiful stuff on here. It's a single-sided 12-inch from back from 2004. They're all numbered, limited. They only made... There's stories about this. Uh, th there were 200 of them made for distribution in Japan and 300 of them for uh, the rest of the world. That's it. They made 500 of them. We got a nice handful. Uh, Takeyuki Moria from Ghost, the great... Uh, uh, psychedelic folk uh, band from the 80s and 90s Japan uh, who we met uh, but he's on here and Isado of the 90s psych group the hair is on here and the b-side etching is a cool etching by Hisha and Barusha of Boredoms uh, but it's really nice Tinkle uh, Piano Longings Lost Fuzz Tone Microphone Yeti Cyclone Pixel Bicycle Beats it's all on there and uh, Amy Grant doing some Acid House from 1990 pretty awesome 12 inch there and Dave that's the other Amy though Let me know. Uh, and also, here's a great rarity. Uh, Talking Heads from 1983, Clear, Speaking in Tongues. This is the Robert Rauschenberg edition. I don't believe they've ever played it. Uh, this outer case has some yellowing, as they all do, and they have all done, but there's also this uh, red, almost like, uh, I don't know, semi-transparent thing that you can turn to come up with all kinds of interesting combinations and of course the blue backside here but it's in beautiful shape i would probably say mint because i don't believe it's been opened but uh, we can look at it and talk about it if you're interested it's definitely a massive rarity for the talking heads fans and uh, all this is here at the current year and uh, we are here wednesday friday saturday 11 a.m to 6 p.m but uh, we're gonna post we're shuffling on over to summer hours pretty soon our saturdays are gonna uh open early and end earlier so uh check out our YouTube, check us out online, and if you're interested, come on in.